Showtime. It's two o'clock. That's a bit loud, I think. Two o'clock. Welcome to the Open Tuning Festival. Uh, the Open Tuning Festival normally takes place over in Seton Village around there, and I played there a couple of years ago on a porch very much like this one, actually. Now, that was two years ago. That was 2019. Uh, last year they did a festival, and they did it virtually last year, and this year it's a mix of both. It's... Uh, they asked uh, w if I'd like to play this year, and I said, sure, uh, I could play on my own porch and uh, stream live to Facebook. How about that? We have the technology, you know. All right, then. Um, welcome, all of you. It is a still COVID lockdown situation, so I think we're only allowed five people outdoors or something like that. How's the sound? Is it, uh, you can hear me, I'm sure, is the guitar and voice, are they uh, equally balanced, or, uh, well, you'll let me know if they're not, I'm sure. Yeah, you can go on the lawn, yeah, you can come on the lawn, uh, as long as there aren't more than five of you, and they <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 go ahead. As long as you stay at least, oh, you're online, is it coming through online? Well, thank you. Thank you for checking. Yeah, you can come in as long as you stay at least uh, six, six uh, feet away and uh, <laughs> all the rest of that good stuff. Okay, so let's get it started here. Speaking of COVID-19, uh, which nobody really wants to, I'm sure, I'm going to do a song. I do uh, pretty much all original material, but... Uh, it's pretty depressing, actually, so, uh, you know, just be prepared. The first song I'm going to do is about a car, actually. It's about a Ford car. I'm sure you've all driven in Fords and uh, know and love them. So, anyway, this one is about a run-down, rusted-out, beat-up old Ford. I was a motor beaten, my long white Cadillac. Got a powerful engine, a Murphy bed in the back. That model they call it the Coupe de Ville. And if that don't impress you, well, nothing will. Sure beats driving some beat up old Ford. A run down, rusted up, beat up Ford. I ended up in a card game in Duffy's back room. Lady Luck was smiling, I was humming this tune. I lost my mic there. Yes, I tell you folks, I was hot, hot, hot. I went all in, I put the caddy in the pot. Guy up against me, put in a beat up old Ford. Just a run down, rusted up, beat up Ford. Well, they do say pride comes before a fall. And wouldn't you know it, folks, I lost it all. Guy took my caddy, left me the Ford in change. It was the only deal that I could arrange. I went home driving that beat up old Ford. Just a run down, rusted up, beat up Ford. Well, driving that Ford, you know, that didn't seem right. Ah, uh, that car kept swerving to the right. Wouldn't go left or even stay down the middle. I kept going around and around and around and around in a circle. That's what happens with a beat-up old Ford. A run-down, rusted-out, beat-up Ford. Thing. It was like some apparition. That 
Ford beat off all the competition. People kept saying it must be stroked and bored, cause nothing would outrun the old beat up Ford. Run down, rust up, beat up Ford. Yeah, driving that Ford, I knew things just weren't right. I started seeing people in an awful light. Driving along, I'd be running them off the road. Ah, I just start acting like an awful old toad. That's what you get driving a beat up old Ford. Run down, rest a beat up Ford. Well, now I think it's time to get rid of the old clunker. Clunker to the junker. I dearly love to have my Cadillac back. Quit driving this beat old hack. Time to take the old clunker to the junker. The run beat up Ford. Yeah, I know it's time to get rid of the old clunker, but uh, I'm not sure I want the old Cadillac back. That was a gas guzzler. Maybe one of those new hybrid uh, Prius cars or an all electric Tesla, maybe. What do you think? Anyway, it's definitely time to get rid of the old Ford. Run down, rusted out, beat up Ford. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, I'll do a song about, well, oh yeah, there's what's a bit of a It's a beautiful day, isn't it? God, it's so nice here. Um, hot though, it's a hot day in the neighborhood, definitely a hot day. And uh, there's hardly a soul around. I guess they're all staying home and uh, socially distancing. All right, let's do a song about. Debbie and Gail, two crazy young kids. Well, Debbie and Gail, they were two young girls living in a small town, Manitoba world. Not really bad, just restless and loose, and they wanted something better than a Canada goose. They both moved to Winnipeg, but there's nothing there. They met up one night on the back stairs and decided to try bright city lights. Toronto town with its seductive nights. Did you change? That's what they do. The world becomes all shiny and new. Times have changed. You knew they would. And when the times change, oh, the times they change for good. Well, down Highway 69, Debbie and Gail, heading out on a Toronto trail, wrote their names on a rock by Sudbury there. He is the gulls and as light as the air They got to Toronto, made out every night We had a few arguments, they had a few fights But going to bars and talking to guys They found they were staring in each other's eyes Times have changed, it's what they do 
The world just seems all shiny and new Times have changed, you knew they would When the times change, yeah They sure enough gonna change for good Well, big city life is all right, I guess Working at jobs and paying off debts But big city life, it can cast a pall Trying to beat your head at that same old wall They split up after a while, agreeing it best One flew east and the other flew west But their names are still on a rock out there the passing cars in the open air Times have changed is what they do The world becomes all shiny and new Times have changed, you knew they would When the times change Well, they sure enough gonna change for good The world is changing both fastly and slowly Freeman from highly on down to the lowly Times is changing through and through From them to us and from me to you Times have changed, it's what they do The world just seems all shiny and new Times have changed, you knew they would when the times change, yeah, they sure enough gonna change for good. They sure enough gonna change for good. Times they gonna change for good. Thank you, thank you very much. I should have put my stand with the boom on it in here, but anyway. <laughs> Sound is okay, it's loud enough. It's kind of um, distracting me because there's a kind of an echo, but. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, that's all right, we'll make do. All right, maybe we'll do what I um, Once in a while, I guess, just to make sure that, uh, I mean, I don't think we're in danger of going over time just yet, but uh, I'll just check there. And... Uh, where was I? That one. Yes. Good. Okay. Put it there. Unfortunately, my usual crew, you know, the road crew and all that, the little roadies and publicity and all, they're all down with COVID or they're hiding out from COVID. So I had to take care of it myself. But uh, nice to see you all here. And all of you on Facebook, if there are any. Hello, hello to you too. I won't stop and uh, reply to comments until this is all over, but uh, hi there. That looks like a real film camera, does it? Is that a... <laughs> you are serious. You're a serious photographer, I'd say then. Anyway, all right. Another, another song about... Oh, they're all about life, you know. This is a song called uh, Indigo. It's about a, it's about a girl named Indigo. It was a daughter of a friend of mine. Oh 
Well, this is a story about Indigo and how she came to walk this earth. It was a bit like Jesus, some say. She had a kind of miraculous birth. Indigo, Indigo, where will you go? What will you do? Indigo, indigo, what will you be? A doctor, a lawyer, a rounder like me. Well, indigo's mother survives this disease. The doctors all said she could never conceive. Ah, but wouldn't you know it now, they were all wrong Indigo came on, she came on strong Indigo, Indigo, where will you go? What will you do and who will you know? Indigo, Indigo, what will you be? A doctor, a lawyer, a rounder like me Well, in their father's Well, their father, some said, was a bit past his prime, but still singing songs and a rockin' good times. Hid musician's life of drugs and of girls, they say he had women all over the world. But Indigo, Indigo, you were the last You came on strong, you came on fast Indigo, Indigo, what will you be? Doctor, a lawyer, a rounder like me mother was a cancer survivor and the doctors all said well you can forget about having children what with all the chemo and radiation and everything else so she did well the funny thing was though that having children didn't forget about her so when she realized she was pregnant and went back to see these same doctors and they all said well this could be tricky you know with all the hormones and so on and could bring the cancer back well she said all right you guys were wrong once let's roll the dice anyway it's better that I should let die and in for Indy to live than Indy should die for me to live. I think most people might feel that way, I don't know. Anyway, it all turned out right in the end. Indy's now, I think, 11 years old. together in love and in rust at the end of the day well you do what you must our children sail past us all on their own they carry the seeds of a great unknown indigo indigo where will you go what will you do Doctor, a lawyer, a rounder like me. Indigo, indigo, what will you be? A doctor, a lawyer, a rounder like me.
Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And um, uh, what else? What else do we sing? Well, we could do a uh, do a song. My, uh, I don't know about your parents, but uh, my mother had all these sayings. She she liked to. Um, <laughs> give us, you know, uh, to help. Uh, you know, they're meant to help uh, guide you through your life. And one of one of her favorite sayings was, "There's no point in having a dog and barking yourself." That's a good one. I think that's good. And the other, another one was, "Well, Chris, you know, the born, the man who is born to hang will never drown." I, you can't argue with these kind of things, you know. It's, uh, I'm just going to have a sip of water. Well, they can sing along, you know. They can sing along with some of the choruses. <clears throat> So yes, the person, the man, I shouldn't say man, the person who is born to hang will never drown. And um, so this song is called Born to Hang. Also called uh, Clarkstown Flood is the subtitle. Well, I'm going to tell you a story from my hometown. Two brothers, Jesse and Jack. Uh, people said they were bad seeds, you know, the wrong side of the track. Well, their own mother said they were born to hang, because somehow they always got blamed for anything that happened. Sometimes true, but mostly framed. And they say the man who is born to hang need not fear the water. Uh, but if you go courting Lady Luck, you never know when you've got her. Then came the spring of 56, snow began to fall, streams were rising all around, across the tobacco belt. Old Jesse looked at the sky, and he studied the palm of his hand. He said, if that sky rules out its thunder, it's going to blow apart the dam. Yeah. And they say the man who is born to hang need not fear the water. But if you go courting Lady Luck, you never know when you Jesse went to see the mayor. Whoa, that's breezy. And tell him the awful news. He shook that Jesse. He said, yeah, when did they let you lose? So Jesse left the city hall steps. Nobody heard his call. But as he reached his own front door, the rain began to fall. And they say the man who is born to hang need not fear the water. Uh, but if you're out courting Lady Luck, you never know when you've got her. Ah, well, the storm clouds hit the mountain. 
And the rain began to get worse yeah. Old Jesse grabs his tractor Saying things are getting worse And he headed out for the village About 16 miles an hour Saying look out friends The floods are coming it ain't no summer shower And they say the man who is born dying Need not fear the water uh, But if you're out courting Lady Luck You never know when you've got her Well, Jesse made it to the valley found old Jesse so he never got a tombstone grave and they say the man who's born to hang need not fear the water oh, but if you're out courting lady luck you never know when you've got her So that was Born to Hang. Well, I guess I could do... Go on home, you 
country folks Stay away from Bulawayo 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 Now when I grew up and I became a man Well I went to work in Bulawayo My mama's died, my daddy's home I'm walking all by myself alone Walking along those dusty streets On down to Bulawayo And the people there all say Hummelapakaya, Futsak, Futsak Hummelapakaya, Futsak, Futsak Hummelapakaya, Hummelapakaya Go on home, you country folks. Stay away from Bulawayo. Bulawayo. <laughs> Bulawayo. Grazie, grazie. Bulawayo. Bulawayo. Now then it came that dusty day. We all marched to Bulawayo Our hearts and our heads were high Our hands and our hearts were high So many people died that day They died in Bulawayo And the soldiers all say Hamalapakaya, Futsak, Futsak Hamalapakaya, Futsak, Futsak Hamalapakaya, hamalapakaya Go on home, you country folks Stay away from Bulawayo Go on down, 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 down Past Chisamba, down past Rabawi Down, down along the Kafui Gorge To the Zambezi River The land there, they call it Matabili land It is named for those great red ants Those Matabilis that march in armies Through that territory as if they owned it And maybe they do An army of Matabili ants Will march through your house And strip it of anything edible In a matter of minutes matter of minutes it is said they've carried off pets and babies and even small children but uh, I've never seen that myself anyway down there in Matabili land the earth is red the earth is red some say from the blood of the patriots down there I hear strange sounds I hear the sounds of the mothers crying crying for the fatherland I hear the sound of fathers crying crying for the motherland I hear the sound of children and babies crying in hunger and thirst and out for freedom And I hear the sounds of all the great politicians and leaders of our country. Silence. Bulawayo. 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 Everything I need right here Got some pigs and some chickens here I hold my little grandson high Hold my little granddaughter's hand We don't walk those dusty streets Stay away from Bulawayo Where the people all say 
Thank you. That that one is kind of a long song. It's uh, I should explain. I should have explained before I started. Hamalapakaya is um, Swahili for "Go on home." Hamalapakaya, go on home. And uh, Futsak, the other foreign language in there, is in a hello. Hi there. <laughs> is in a language called Kitchen Kaffir. Uh, which is what they call a pidgin language. It's kind of language that has words from all other lang- a lot of other languages stuck into it. And uh, Kaffir is the name that the uh, white Africans use to refer to the black Africans. Uh, I'm not sure it's a polite name. I don't really know, but uh, the black Africans were called Kaffirs. So kitchen Kaffir is the kind of patois that you talk to your servants in the kitchen. So that's where kitchen kaffir, the language, comes from. And uh, futsak basically means the same as go on home, but it's got a little more juice to it, let's say. <laughs> futsak. So that's what uh, happens in the chorus there, where they're saying Hamalapakaya and Futsak and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Well, we got time for a few more. Nobody's walked out yet. Maybe a couple more. There's no Trump handle, no Trump. Ah, that's a good one, or over in Istanbul, one or the other. Two? Two what? Oh, yes, that's, that's the big finale. You want to, yes, that's the big finale. Speak of the devil? No, we won't do that one. Well, it's either Istanbul or no Trump. Oh, let's do no Trump. I'll try that one. diamonds and clubs I cried isn't there a way we can simplify so here is the suggestion here's my plan why don't we all play a no trump hand no trump hand a no trump hand 
say don't you'll be back unfortunately yes he's gone but he's waiting in the wings and he will very definitely be back uh, 2024 I think it is uh, but um, well it's not uh, anything we can do much about except uh, I'm going to send the song out, and uh, hopefully it'll make a difference. <laughs> I, it won't, but that sound, yeah, that sounds okay. All right, maybe this will be the finale, yes. This will be our big finale. Down beside us there Two 
Thank you, thank you, thank you all very much. Thank you for being here on this beautiful afternoon. A bit breezy, but there you go. So, I guess we should um, let them get set up for the next act. There are, there's a whole, hey, one more? One more? <laughs> um, let's see, what else do I know? Um, Istanbul is kind of another long one, so. We speak of the devil. Uh, I want to talk to God. That would be a good one. Or, um, well, there's Afghanistan, too. Rhyme for Afghanistan. Let's see. Listening to Radio 2 Here comes it 
army was so destroyed by the British, totally de wiped out the flowers of the forest were the bodies of the Scottish soldiers lying in the, amongst the trees. But this time the bagpiper plays for a Canadian soldier. Could be a man, woman, aunt, uncle, friend, could have been in any one of a number of people. Well, that's it. Thank you very much, Open Tuning, for um, organizing this. And thank you, Longham McQuaid, for supplying some equipment. And uh, thank you all for showing up. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Okay?